Modern Warships is an online PvP shooter game which heavily features the new generation of warships and naval weapons. The game has a lot of different types of warships which player can choose on which they want to use to fight other players. Along with that, it also has a wide range of weapons which player can use to customize the weapons on their ship. Players can create the perfect equipment for their ship to win and dominate the sea. Most of these weapons and ships are strictly made to their drawings and appearance in real life. The game heavily aims for a realistic graphics and balanced battle which will give its players a challenging and fun game with a nice experience of its unique realism. I started playing this game during its alpha test and the very first thing I noticed after opening the game is its graphics. The graphics on this game is undeniably amazing, the developers didn't fail on delivering one of their objectives for their game. Rocks, islands, and structures are modeled impressively, the flow and quality of water is impressive, and the skies and lighting is very attractive. The ships look exactly to what they've said. They look exactly on their drawings and appearance in real life, they all have a lot of details and little features that puts more life and realism into the ship. If you've ever played Battle of Warships before, it's another game which is developed by the same developer of Modern Warships. You can definitely say that the devs have done a good improvement and a really great job on making the graphics in Modern Warships more beautiful than their old game. A game with this level of graphics will definitely bring enjoyment to players that will play this game. The sounds of the game is great. It has a very nice sets of soundtracks. The theme perfectly suits to what the game is all about. The soundtracks of maps blend very well on their specific environments and any situations that will happen within those maps and it really makes the match even more intense. The crew voice is also great, it adds more realism to the game. It can also help players through alarming them for any incoming threats so it's a really helpful feature. Sound effects is great too but I have a little problems with it. The sound of a ship that crashes on a rock, island or on another ship is very weak. It's like the metal of the ship was only tapped. The sound of Missouri firing its huge cannon is very weird. I really expected it to have a similar sound effect like the Yamato. Those are the only problems I found on the sound effects of the game and the rest sounds like what they're supposed to sound. What I really liked on their sound effects would be the sound of the nuclear explosion. It definitely sounds like a nuke and it's very satisfying when you get a kill with it. In terms of the gameplay of the game, it's great but again, I have a few problems with it. When the battle starts, the very first objective we should do is to use our aircraft to spot our opponents. Once they're spotted, we can engage at them and use our weapons against them. The game didn't explain this and you would have to figure it out by yourself. Due to this a lot of players would just die early in the game and they would wonder why their opponents can see and attack them while they can't. It might be easy for some to figure out the problem only by themselves but it might not be for others especially to those who are new to naval combat games. It would be nice if there will be a proper tutorial for it at the very beginning in playing this game so that players will be able to know the purposes of each of their weapons that they have on their ship and they'll be able to effectively play the game. Another problem is that the ships with a really slow speed such as the aircraft carrier, battlecruiser, and battleships aren't fun to use when they're spotted. Things are very fun and cool at first, but once you're spotted, that fun will turn to suffering because you'll immediately become a missile and shell magnet for your opponents. Not only that, there's also no time for those kinds of ships to get themselves a safe place and a good cover because the map is so small that spawn points of ships is within the range of almost all weapons in the game. So when you're spotted and you're using a very slow ship, you're likely going to sink and lose the game early. However, I received a response from the developer of the game regarding this issue, and I'm very looking forward for the solution of this matter to be implemented. Another problem will be the way of getting hero and legendary status. If you want to get hero status, you would have to compete it for 24 hours to get it. If you want to get legendary status, you would have to compete it for one month to get it. Those amounts of time are not easy to acquire and it's definitely not good for the health of others. I hope that the developers would change the way of acquiring the hero and legendary status to a way that is much healthier but still challenging to compete. A way which players wouldn't have to stay up all nights just to play a game. Lastly, this isn't really a huge problem like those I've mentioned before but I'll still include it since it involves players' experience. The game lacks more game modes. 
Currently, there are only three game modes in the game, Online Battle, Offline Battle and Custom Battle. The current modes in the game is great, I had a lot of fun in playing it and I've grinded a lot of resources with it. However, it kinda gets boring after playing some time. Adding more game modes like capturing areas and boss fights would definitely give more fun and it will also give people more reasons to play this game. Those are the only problems which I found on the gameplay of this game, now for the positive parts of the gameplay. The controls aren't that complicated, they are very easy and straightforward to use. It is also well placed and the buttons are all in the right size. Others may find the controls a little tricky to use, but it's just something you only have to get used to it before you'll be able to use it without any problems. Ignoring the issue of slow ships, all ships in the game are incredibly fun and challenging to use. Weapons that require manual aiming can be fired and hit the targets at any direction even if there's part of your ship that's blocking its way. It doesn't make any sense but you get to use the full potential of your ship. Using aircraft carrier is also incredibly fun because it has a unique way of attacking its target and that is through their aircrafts. They are fragile against air defenses but they have the highest rate in delivering their attacks successfully than other type of ships in the game, they can also deal a decent amount of damage with their weapons so they're definitely not something to be underestimated. What makes all ships in the game challenging to use is that they have their own disadvantages and advantages, and by all, I mean it includes premium ships as well. Their disadvantages and advantages play a big role in molding the outcome of the battle. If not handled well, you're likely going to suffer defeat. This goes the same for the weapons as well. There's really no pay to win in this game. Most people that will say that this game is a pay to win are those who have really short patience. The one thing you should really do to do well in this game is just play a lot. Premium ships only cost gold and they're really expensive but they're not impossible to buy. Indeed, they're mostly powerful and very effective unlike any standard ships in the game. However, like I said earlier, they have their advantages and disadvantages so they're not completely invincible. So even if you have a premium ship, you're still not guaranteed to win the battle with it especially if you're a potato. As of the moment, the only things that currently has a lot of premium is the ships, there's only a few on the weapons and they aren't as expensive as most premium ships in the game. After months of playing the game, all I can say is that it's a great game. I enjoyed playing this game a lot, I was very excited to play it when I first started playing this game and that feeling still remains today. I've also done a lot on my YouTube channel because of this game and I'm very thankful for it. I hope the developers would continue molding the game to its best as it definitely has the potential to be one of the best mobile games of all time.